Welcome to Fran Coach's Franchising 101 podcast series. Here we talk about all things franchising. What is it all about? Is it for you? How do you find the best one to own? And so much more. Now your host, Tim Parmeter. Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to Fran Coach's Franchising 101 podcast series. I am Tim Parmeter, founder and CEO of Fran Coach, and your podcast host. Uh, today, we have another guest in house to uh, speak with us about a, an incredibly, really, I don't know how to better say this, super cool and emerging concept um, in the franchising space. Uh, so, we definitely want to get, uh, we're going to get him on right now. And joining us is the Director of Franchise Development for Perspire Sauna, Mr. Corey Lyons. Corey, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me, Tim. I appreciate it. Oh, no, we're, we are uh, definitely excited to, uh, to, to talk to you. I want to learn about Perspire Sauna um, and hear all, all those great things. And we've got a bunch of questions for you. So I hope you're uh, prepared for that. But um, start with, always like to just get a chance to, to, to know people a little bit more and in particular, kind of their journey into the franchising space. Um, so if you don't mind, give us, give us the, you know, the reader's digest version of Corey and, uh, kind of your journey, your journey here. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I was in franchising even before I knew I was in franchising when I was, uh, uh, in the restaurant industry working for Applebee's corporate out of Overland Park, Kansas. I considered myself in the restaurant industry without supporting franchisees with field-based support. Uh, you know, and then I, I moved, I was with them for about seven years and I moved to uh, the fitness uh, sector of franchising uh, with uh, Snap Fitness and Lift Brands. Uh, when I ultimately left that organization after 12 years, I was the longest uh, tenured uh, executive on the leadership team. And I just celebrated my one year anniversary here at Perspire Sauna Studio. Nice. Awesome. Um, and um, so what, so, and again, so you've, you've been around this for a while and a couple of Kind of the like the more the more common sector is a little bit when people think about franchising, right? Um, and um, so, but tell us a little bit about we we all probably get fitness, we certainly get Applebee's, um, and we know that we're fancy like when we go there these days, right? Um, but Perspire Sauna, what the heck is a Perspire Sauna? Give us like from a if I'm a consumer, um, who, who's going in there and and what what what's going on when you're there? Yeah, so that's you know that's one great thing about Perspire Sauna Studio is that we are for everybody, uh, you know, from the aging retiree to the young professional to the stay-at-home parent. Uh, everybody wants to feel better, and that's exactly what our product does. It makes people feel better, uh, utilizing you know decades or uh, centuries-old uh, desires to heat your 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 core body temperature, and we do that with modern technology through infrared saunas. Now. Uh, as far as, you know, what the actual product is, it's high intensity red light therapy integrated into our fully custom commercial infrared saunas, uh, you know, ensuring that all of our guests leave our studios feeling better than when they arrive. Okay. That, which I think maybe I'm, I'm going to date myself. Cause when I hear the word sauna, I think of like the, you know, the old Brown room and some, some, some cheesy fitness thing, right. Where you pour the, pour, pour the water on the coals. I don't know if those still exist. I'm, I'm like maybe a little old, but this is, this is definitely not that correct. Definitely not that. Yeah. So you're speaking <laughs> of a traditional sauna, right. And, you know, traditional saunas, you know, they're essentially, you know, rooms filled with hot air that you enter and, and, and you sweat and you, and you help detox uh, infrared saunas. It's going to be a, a hotter room. Uh, no questions about it, but uh, the infrared uh, technology, infrared is actually light that we feel as heat and it penetrates our skin and heals you on the cellular level uh, and, and ultimately raises your core body temperature three degrees and creates a false fever. And that's where all the, uh, the benefits uh, kick in uh, is when your body temperature is rising. Really? Okay. And so how, from a consumer perspective, how how often do, do do people come in? How often is it okay to come in? Yeah, so you know we have membership packages that are unlimited that you can come in thirty times a month uh, as well. Uh, you know, in, infrared sauna use and the benefits are very similar to fitness. The more you use it, the the better the benefits you're going to see. Uh, so our membership packages, you know, are once a week, twice a week, as well as unlimited. 
Okay. Very, very cool. Um, what's, um, th- I think a lot of things out there and a certainly fitness and food True, sure, you've been a poor order, but a lot of others where people are like, Oh my gosh, there's so much competition. Not, not so much with this. Right. Um, is this a little bit, cause this a, from the infrared perspective is a little bit newer than certainly, certainly, certainly a cheeseburger or just going into the gym to, to work out. Um, how much, how much time do you are like, are your owners really spending kind of, I guess, kind of creating the awareness for what this is, I guess that's gotta be a big piece of it. Right. Yeah. Creating awareness on a local level is huge. And we start that well before the studio is even built out, uh, you know, and ultimately just, uh, allowing the, the consumers to learn what infrared technology is, you know, as we sit today, you know, about a third of the population knows what an infrared sauna is. Uh, so there's a lot of blue sky out there to really help educate. Um, as we sit this very moment, we don't have a national competition either. So, you know, we are the, you know, we are the original. We opened our first studio back in 2010. Uh, we're the largest and fastest growing. So it's a, uh, it, it's a great opportunity for us. So I think there's, there's, there's two words with, when we've got clients that are start looking at franchises that come up a lot, they, they sound negative, but it's like concerns and challenges, right? Like, Oh, I have a concern about this really where you see more information or boy, that seems challenging, but challenging can be a good thing. And something like this is maybe it's challenging to be the, you know, 417 cheeseburger place in a market, right? The, the, the challenge here could really be a positive to have an opportunity to really bring something new. And I'm, I'm stunned that a third of the people know about infrared sauna. Right? And I'll be the first to admit, I, I didn't know about it until I don't know, a few months ago, right? When we, we kind of started, started really working together. And so um, that challenge to be able to go out and bring something new and exciting into a community, I, I got to think that's got to be something that really is going to appeal to an owner that's going to look at Perspire, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's always advantageous to be first to market with something, right? Uh, and, and that allows all of our franchisees to do that. All of our franchisees are first to market and really taking the best real estate out there. Uh, as well, the best territory. So it's, it's, again, it's very advantageous. A challenging component would be to, you know, continually educate the community and, and get those percentages to 32%, you know, uh, 40% and, and things like that as well. But, you know, that's one great thing about, about our product is once somebody uses our product, they're going to go tell 10 of their friends how great it was. And a lot of our franchisees used to be members of ours and they moved throughout the, throughout the country and, and opened up for Sparsana studios in their new hometown. So it, that's really exciting that, you know, the, the brand, you know, uh, being emerging, we do have a quite the cult following, no questions about it. Well, and, and you, you, you know, this, we, we've a client of ours is, was just visited one of your studios um, here recently. And, and he had talked about having, you know, knee surgery not too long ago. And he'd made the comment. He's like, I haven't felt this good since after my surgery. Right. And just for, and, and he was pretty darn skeptical about like what, what this was. Right. Um, and just like um, immediately he felt better. And that was just from, from, from one time. Right. So that I can see easily see where you get that, where you get that cult following from this, which is again, great, great creating, you know, that, that education piece goes quickly when you as the owner don't have to convince people, your members, your customers are out there spreading the word for you. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no questions about that. Um, you know, we have one of the few, you know, one of the few wellness modalities out there that'll actually make you feel good during the session <laughs> as well as after the session as well. You know, because there's some of them out there that uh, don't don't feel good while you're doing it. But yeah, so we've got that you know unique trait as well. Yeah, I, as, I, as I was on the treadmill last night, trying to kind of keep keep plugging away, going thinking I'm about to die, right? Um, that was not a good feeling. I know in the long term it's better for me to do it, right? But um, so no, with you on that. What about the what about the owner, right? What are um, maybe kind of some things that you look for, or what is there really kind of you need them to be doing day in day out as a, as a typical owner for you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, we obviously want. Uh, our franchisees to be wellness minded. Uh, we want our franchisees to care about others. You know, we do help people every single day. That's one thing our franchisees talk about is, you know, that they uh, knew our members were going to come tell us about why the, our business is so important to them. They didn't know at what scale and, and right. you know, those warm fuzzies really go a long way. So really care about, you know, and genuinely care about helping other people uh, is, is big. 
we don't require our franchisees to work in the business, but if they're not working in the business, they definitely have to be working on the business and managing and leading their teams. Uh, we have a very scalable business model that multi-unit franchising is, is very, very possible. The vast majority of our franchisees are multi-unit franchisees as well, working on the business versus in the business and ultimately managing their team. You, 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 know, uh, you know, franchisees choose to have a franchisor and the, that choice is because they're choosing to get support. And, and that's where our operations uh, and our education, our marketing team really come into play and, and really support our franchisees with every single step of their business. Well, and I wanted to touch on that, right? Because again, you guys are, you know, certainly more on the, in the emerging scale there's, and I probably should have looked before we got on here. How many, how many locations do you guys have open right now? We have 22, uh, we have 22 of it uh, open right now and we just awarded our 92nd franchise. Nice. That's awesome. Um, and so sometimes there's the feel of like, Oh, well, they're, they're new. Do they really know what they're doing? Right. And then I always kind of like roll my eyes, like, um, <laughs> yes, yes, they, yes, they do. It's not their first, you know, kind of, especially for somebody with, with, with you. And I know your, your whole team, very experienced in franchising. Talk about some of those areas in which as the franchisor, you're going to really be there to help support the franchisee as they're getting started and, and really even then once they're up and running. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, uh, one big thing about, you know, once, uh, you know, we award a franchise is to really, you know, enable the franchisee to uh, get the, get the brand out in their community. Again, more often than not, they're being first to mark. Uh, so we'll utilize our internal team as well as our vendors for all of the real estate and, and essentially hold the franchisee's hand throughout the entire real estate process, identifying sites, negotiating sites uh, with them, as well as getting to lease. And then, you know, once uh, you know, once the build out takes place, we have our vendors that are going to handle all the build out because we don't want our franchisees to worry about the people swinging hammers. We're going to utilize our vendors to handle that, so they can just ultimately promote their brand. And by doing so, what we've done is we've created a, a very impressive pre-sale program where we will ensure that all of our locations open with at least 100 memberships by day one to really ramp up that uh, that business as quick as possible. In, in business, ramping up is is, is key, and, and we really focus a lot a lot on that ramp up and getting to that uh, um, you know that magical break even and profitability point. Yeah, awesome. And it's just I think it it, it always is overwhelming. To hear, even for me, after all these years, like it's, I don't know, overwhelming for me is the right word, but reassuring. And I know when people hear that the first time, like, you know, how, how many, how many people, you know, okay, raise your hand, everybody out there who has negotiated a commercial lease on their own, right? So, or, or tenant improvements or build out or getting the contractors, like that's not stuff people could really do successfully by their, by, by themselves, let alone all the marketing pieces and, and everything from that perspective. So, um, great, great to it. And again, I think that's a myth sometimes like, oh, it's an emerging brand. So they're not going to have all those things. Every, everything is in place. And as you mentioned, like in most cases, you're coming in first to market or, or, or pretty darn close to it. So you're not getting the 19th best like territory in you know, what, whatever market you're getting the prime locations and really kind of pick, pick of those things, which is also, you know, yes, you gotta, you gotta educate the community, but there, there's no like, you know, B, C, D, E, F locations <laughs> from a real estate standpoint, you're getting the high, the high level stuff. So that's very cool. Yeah. yeah. We um, go after only real estate. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, we talked a little bit about the kind of the, the owner, what's, What's the staffing model look like for, for Perspire Studio? Yeah, so, you know, it's a very labor light business model. And that's really attractive to entrepreneurs today. You know, the, the secret is our saunas do the work for us, right? You know, they do, they provide the service. So, you know, we, uh, we have a staff, a full staff is going to be between five and seven people. And that's really going to, you know, going to depend on, you know, full-timers or part-timers. Uh, you know, that are, that are in the studio, having a full-time manager with, you know, additional uh, staff. Many of our studios will have one person working during the day and two people working at night. So again, very, very labor light. 
uh, you know, and, and, you know, fully automated wellness. So, you know, the staff, we, you know, uh, the staff, you know, we also look for people who care about others, right. And want to want to get to know on a personal level and, and genuinely care about, you know, ensuring that somebody's you know feeling better leaving than when they arrived. Right. And for anybody that might be wondering, you know, like the, the, the old COVID stuff, right. Um, from, from this, when as a as a as a customer, if I come in and I'm I'm gonna have my have my session, right? I'm not sitting in there like it's also not the old like you know the old style like steam room or something where I got 14 other people in there, right? Um, you've got like again kind of private areas and and really almost kind of some different personalized and different kind of um, I don't know what's the right word here kind of treatments or different I was gonna say themes but that's totally not the right right thing but very private type of settings for people when they're coming in there. Right. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you get your own private sanctuary, uh, <laughs> to be able to relax and, and decompress and, and release your stress and such, you know, uh, ultimately every single private suite, uh, is, is, you know, made for the individual person. So we want to be able to have all the preset, uh, you know, temperatures and, and light colors and such to that uh, member's preferences, as well as, you know, streaming uh, video uh, options as well. You know, we have a lot of streaming video options in those own private suites to be able to give you a private viewing experience of, of your favorite show as well. So uh, it's really your time. It's it's me time. When you enter one of Perspire Sauna Studio and get into your private suite, it's all about you. Be able to sit back, relax, take your, you know, 40-minute session and, and, you know, release a lot of stress. Nice. So instead of Netflix and chill, we're going to Netflix and sweat basically when we're sitting there, there, right? So um, very, very, very cool. So we got a, a light labor model, which is, which is, which is fantastic. Again, that, that private situation I think is fantastic. One, if anybody's still, you know, kind of the, the lingering effects of, of, of COVID from that perspective, but, but again, just like I, as, as I hear that as somebody sitting here going, man, I could use that right this second, right? How do I, how do I kind of get one of those in my house would be outstanding um, for that. Um, so super cool. And we've got tons of space around the country where we can, where we can, we can grow and expand multi-unit opportunities. Um, what, what are we missing, man? What else um, for somebody kind of listening today about Perspire that you would want to make sure that, hey, well, we definitely want you to understand this about our brand and our opportunity. Yeah. So, you know, one, one component about, you know, our brand, and we've only touched on the infrared component of our brand, but we also utilize, you know, high intensity red light therapy uh, as well to really provide, you know, skin elasticity, skin clarity, energy, uh, men, we get a bonus and increases testosterone as well. Uh, so that's, that's in uh, every single one of our, uh, of our infrared saunas, it's fully integrated. So you're actually getting two, two wellness modalities in one, and ultimately those benefits are second to none. Uh, you know, there, there are a lot of opportunities, uh, you know, as I mentioned in, to you in the past, Tim, business is a lot of fun when you have wind at your back and, right. you know, for Sparse on a studio, we've got a, a great tailwind and, and the, uh, the future looks very, very bright for us. Yeah, that's it. And, and I think just from a perspective of the, 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 the wellness, you get, you get a little, little sweat in there and really all you have to do is sit there. Um, it's not a bad, uh, not, not, not a bad way to leave feeling, feeling much, much better about yourself. So, um, this is awesome, man, Corey, I, I'm glad, glad we're able to connect. I know you're super busy, so I want to be respectful of your time and, and thanks for, uh, for, for, for joining us today to talk about, uh, Perspire. So thank you so much for doing so. I appreciate the opportunity, Tim. Thank you. No, you're welcome. And, and as always, thanks to all of our loyal podcast listeners for uh, clicking and joining us today. If you'd like to learn more about Perspire or any of the 500 plus franchises we're partnered with, francoach.net, uh, send us a message, uh, reach out, let's get that first call scheduled. You've been listening to 20 minutes of a podcast about franchising. We know you're interested. Let's talk. Um, there's never any fee for our service. So let's help you create your better tomorrow. Thanks everybody for tuning in and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for listening to Fran Coach's Franchising 101 podcast, where our ultimate goal is to help educate you on all things franchising so you can create your better tomorrow.